Hey guys, what's going on? Scott Barnes here. And this week I wanted to talk about Apache subject not a lot of beersmen talk about, and that's fidgeting and picking at your beard. I wanted to bring this up to explain why we're doing this and maybe show you guys some tips to show you how to avoid picking and fidgeting completely. And of course, it wouldn't be a great video without a beard product review. That's right, your guys again from the Bearded Bastards want me to try out a new bomb of theirs. So let's jump ship, we're gonna dive right into it. Here we go. doing a few dozen beard videos and talking to the beard community, it seems that there's three things that really make a great beard. One is genetics, two is maintenance, and three has to be style. These three things really create the full circle of a great looking beard. And there's one thing, picking, that can really deter the beard growth. Now having a beard and mustache, we're obviously going to be applying some mustache wax, beard oils, and beard balms. And in between those times of application, especially when I'm styling it out at work or I'm in my truck, I find myself fidgeting with my mustache or combing my beards with my hands. Now for me, there are certain spots of follicles on my face that pull out easier than others. For instance, I can get away with fidgeting my chin and my side jaw really easy, whereas with my mustache and my side lip right here, they fall out really easily. And that's what I wanted to bring up for this video, is that when we start fidgeting and plucking our hairs on our beards and mustaches, we start creating a little patch. It's not a bad thing, it just can get a little out of control. Now a good example for me, other than the chin and the side jaw, are the side lips of my mustache. So when I'm growing out my mustache, not usually, especially when I'm twirling and, and styling out my mustache, hairs don't really fall out. But when I get to my side of my lip and I'm pulling a little extra hard, the follicles on there just seem to just come out easy. Now I'm gonna give you a few things that'll help you out not picking, pulling, and fidgeting with your mustache and beard. And the first is gonna be your tools. One is, for me, is the twirly brush. I can sit here for hours twirling the mustache and beard and not using my hands. The second one, obviously, too, is gonna be the comb, this is more for the mustache. For me, I have that big problem picking the side of my lip there. I can use the comb instead of my hand and that's gonna save me the patch and the hole that I'm gonna make with my hands. Last thing is gonna be product. We're gonna be using our tools with the product. That way we don't have to use our hands. That way we don't have to be tempted to pluck, twist, or fidget. I know this isn't a really popular topic, but every beersman goes through this plucking and fidgeting stage. And on the topic of beard products, remember you guys, the Bearded Bastards? Yep, they sent me another package, supposedly with a new product. So I got my package, got my knife, let's open her up. All right, let's open her up. All right, we gotta do the card first, okay? Scott, enjoy the new scent. It will drop March 1st. Can't wait to hear what you think. Make sure to give out Scott Ship. All right, remember you guys, Scott Ship, you're gonna get free shipping. What's there to lose? Now straight off the bat, a few videos back you guys, I was so fortunate enough, they gave me two of these that I got to send out to some of my viewers. Look at that, the Bearded Bastard Durag. That's so awesome, I love these things you guys, love it. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got ourselves our sticker, the Bearded Bastard sticker. Gotta have the swag you guys. All right, without further ado, let's see what we got here. All right. Early Riser Beard Bomb. Woohoo! Check that out. Now, if I'm not mistaken, about a few weeks back, if you check out the link in the description below, I did a beard review video on their Early Riser Beard Oil. So they pretty much took the oil, shoved it into a beard bomb. Let's open her up and check her out. Ooh, okay, so we definitely got some coffee going on. Maybe like a little hint of smoke for that morning that we're going on. Man, I dig it, you guys. Haven't smelled anything else like this on the market. And I say, let's go on this side. Let's get ourselves a nice, good chunk. Oh my gosh, this is feeling really nice. So we're gonna mush this around. All right, so we'll just get this nice, Rubbed in. 
Oh, wow. Wow, that's really not, man, this is really nice. Every time I try a new product, I'm always surprised by something new. I really feel like I went to a coffee shop, took their mocha frappe, poured it right into my beard, and I literally can drink from my beard. It's, the smell is incredible. The last thing that I love about the balm, they got a beard oil to go with it. It's really far in between that we get a nice good beard balm to go with a good beard oil. Because for me, I like putting beard oil on in the morning and then the afternoon I like putting beard balm on. And obviously it's all preference, but it's just a nice good thing to have one product to go with another. So now that you have an insight, this bad boy doesn't go on the market until today, March 1st. So this is gonna be an announcement video. Go check out the link in the description below. Type in that Scott ship, save yourself some money on shipping, that way everybody wins. That being said, let's make sure we're not pulling, plucking, or fidgeting with our beard or mustache. Let's let it grow out the way it was supposed to. Gotta say thanks again to the Bearded Bastard. Check out next week's video, gonna be doing a fun giveaway for you guys. Like always, like, subscribe, and favorite. Check me out on Twitter, check me out on Twitch. I'm streaming at least three times a week, that way I can interact with you guys. Love ya, like always, and I'll see ya on the flip side. See ya!